Last, we'll review simple entry using a MIDI keyboard. It is assumed that you have your MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer and that it is working with Finale. For more information on using a MIDI keyboard with Finale, refer to the previous Finale eLearning course, Beginning Notation, or Chapter 2, MIDI Keyboard Setup in the Finale Chops book. Click on the Simple Entry tool. The purple cursor with the line must be showing in Measure 1 of the Soprano staff before you can enter notes. If it is not showing, control click in the measure on Windows, that's option click on Mac, to place it there. When using simple entry with a MIDI keyboard, one hand will be changing the note duration numbers and the other hand will be playing the pitches on the MIDI keyboard. You may need to use the octave up and down buttons on the MIDI keyboard to find the correct octave. Press number 5 to select the quarter note duration. The purple cursor shows the duration you selected. Play in all of the quarter note pitches through measure 3. In measure 4, you still have the quarter value selected, so play a B and press the period key to add the dot. Press number 4 for the eighth value and play A. Press number 6 for the half value and play A. If you choose this note entry method, finish entering all of the notes in the soprano staff, changing the duration numbers as needed, and playing the pitches on a MIDI keyboard. If you make a mistake, press delete or undo your last command by pressing Control Z on Windows. That's Command Z on Mac. Remember, you can use these shortcuts if needed. Zero to enter a rest. The period key to add a dot to a note. T to add a tie. Plus to add a sharp. Minus to add a flat. N for natural, and R to change a note to a rest. Don't worry about the extra measure that was added at the end. We will delete that later. When you're finished entering notes in the soprano staff, click on any other tool icon so your MIDI keyboard does not remain active. Save your work by choosing the File menu, Save. A quick way to go back to the beginning of your score is to press the Home key on Windows. On Mac, you would press Function plus the left arrow key. In the next video, I'll show you a quick way to enter the notes in the alto, tenor, and bass staves.